I want to thank Kara. Kara Lutz. When when I call on people's names, if you could if you could please stand for about ten seconds to let people see who you are. Um, uh, with, with Kara, we, we would we would have some applause. That would be fine. <laughs> <clears throat> but but basically, save your applause for me. But <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, Kara uh, was one of two people who simultaneously thought that I ought to have a, a birthday party, and uh, she really really did everything here. She. She helped to find this wonderful venue. Uh, she took care of the birthday cake at her own expense, I'm sorry to say. Um, and um, I I'm just deeply grateful uh, to her for all she has done to make this night, night possible. Uh, her husband, Ben Lux, uh, helped to, uh, to do a lot of the technical stuff in, in producing the invitation cards. And uh, in the um, uh, name tags that we have tonight that figure out who should sit where. So thank you, Ben. Uh, the other person who uh, worked out, uh, who decided that I should have a birthday party, is Andrew Warnock. Where did Andrew go? Okay, back there. Um, Andrew, um, though this was quite amazing. My actual birthday, as many of you know, was two days ago, or three days ago, it was Thursday. Uh, two days ago, um, and um, uh, 23 from 25. Was <laughs> well, I am getting old. Uh, <laughs> uh, Andrew did something that no one has done for me in, I would want to say, 70 years. He baked me a birthday cake on last Tuesday at the, at the Tuesday night meetup, a, a, a wonderful flying spaghetti monster uh, <laughs> cake. And it was good. So thank you, Andrew. <laughs> um, <clears throat> next, I, I would like to, I, I can't introduce everybody here tonight. I, I will be introducing my family and, and uh, a few, oh, before I introduce my family. Uh, Danny Davis, where is Danny? He's the cameraman. Okay. <laughs> uh, Danny is my chief technical officer and the producer of my YouTube channel. And uh, he got off a sick bed this morning to come here to, to take care of the videography tonight. And this will be, this will be shown uh, on our YouTube channel at some point. Um, I want to thank one other person who cannot be here tonight. And this was the person who five years ago decided that I should have the first birthday party of my life since childhood. Her name was Dr. Tatiana Guerrero, one of my colleagues at Chemical Abstract Service. She decided I should have a birthday party, and she it was who, at her own considerable expense, got a whole bunch of my family photographs and framed them in all of the composite pictures that you see at the two sides of the room uh, if, it's, if there's more than one picture in a, a wonderful frame, that is due to Tatiana. And so Tatiana could not be here tonight. She's in Florida, and I couldn't compete with that. But uh, <laughs> I want to say hello and thank you, Tatiana, when you see this on YouTube. Well, now I do want to go to my family. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce my daughter, Catherine. Catherine is my... My main uh, helper in producing all of American Atheist Press books, including my memoirs. It was Catherine who designed this wonderful cover for my memoirs. And um, she did all the typesetting and layout for my memoirs, which are back there uh, under some glass. That you can see the cover, and it's open to one of the late chapters, Love's Death, which is the chapter dealing with... Um, the, um, the, the death of my wife, Anne. Um, her husband, my son-in-law, Big Mike, <laughs> he helps keep everything together. And uh, my grandson, Stephen, who is the only one of my grand three grandchildren who could be here tonight, 
my granddaughter, Laura, the mother of my only great-grandchild, uh, Aiden, uh, is with her, her uh, housemate, who is right this moment, probably at this instant, giving birth. And, <laughs> and so, <laughs> so she had to be there. And my other grandson, Michael, had to be there to take care of my great-grandson. So that's why two of my three great my two of my three grandchildren can't be here tonight. Uh, next, I want to go uh, to this table over here. I want to introduce you to the woman who is responsible for my being in Ohio, uh, Barbara Zahm. Would you please stand up, <laughs> Barbara? Barbara was my first manager at Chemical Abstract Service, and she believed enough in me to uh, give me a job, and I'm deeply grateful I'm still at that job. And uh, Dave Rausch, who is also one of my very early colleagues from Chem Abstracts, uh, and a very, very dear friend. Uh, Jim Bergdorf, who came the farthest tonight, I believe. He came, from, he came from Arizona, from Scottsdale. Can you stand up? If you can't, don't, don't try. Okay, okay. <laughs> But he, he has the record, I'm pretty sure, for having come the farthest uh, to, to be here tonight. Uh, and two other very early friends uh, from Chem Abstracts, Scott Martin and Yuji Gao. And, and another amazing, I, I really, I guess almost all of my friends, if not all of my friends, are amazing in, in one way or maybe several ways at a time. One of the more interesting of my amazing friends is Riza Saberi. Um, Riza is uh, his doctorate in, in pharmacy, but he, um, he what, two years ago or three years ago, you won the gold medal, the Iranian gold medal for the best nonfiction book of the year in Iran. And uh, it's an incredible book. <laughs> I'm so glad he could come. And then in the next table back there, let me see who, I, my, my vision isn't all that good. <laughs> uh, I'll start with, it, with the closest. Uh, Bob Fitrakis and Suzanne Patzer. Uh, Bob is the founder and the editor and, and power, the two of them are the power behind the Columbus Free Press. And uh, they've been friends for many, many years. I think the Columbus Free Press is represented here tonight by a number of other people. Could the, the rest of you stand up? I can't tell where you are. Bob Ream and Peter uh, Johnson is, uh, and Gary back there. Gary. So thank you for all coming. <coughs> uh, and then my neighbor in the far corner there, Terry Melanowski, an anthropologist. And another one of my neighbors, Ali Ainazadai, he's a philosopher. He's also Iranian, so <laughs> we have that side of the world represented well here tonight. And uh, I, I have to say that uh, Ali is, is really an amazing thinker, and I'm just so pleased that he's here. Beside him is the former Tiger trainer <laughs> uh, and former world evangelist and now an atheist activist. Uh, he came from Washington, D.C. to be here tonight, uh, Dustin Lawson. And his guest tonight, uh, uh, V. LaBianca, who is leaving in a few days for Austin, Texas. She's going to be joining the uh, atheist community of Austin to work there. And uh, Bob Erickson, uh, a very good friend uh, in recent years, who has been among a number of people who have helped me um, work on my memoirs, and I'm grateful for his uh, sympathetic ear. Um, on this side over here, we have a number of members from the original Atheist chapter from a long, long time ago. And um, Tim Young and Rhonda, they were among the very earliest of my friends from that chapter. I've already mentioned Bob Reen, um, Lindsay Park and, and Mark, uh, they were also part of the original chapter, and uh, who? 
Oh, Joe Summer. Yeah, uh, the the lighting. You're, you're in the dark there. I'm sorry, Joe Summer. Uh, who <laughs> I haven't seen him in many many years either. I think some of many of these people I haven't seen in about 25 or 30 years. So it's just wonderful that they're here tonight. And uh, a fairly new friend, but somebody that I've gotten to know quite well, uh, Daniel Rickenbach. Uh, and um, well, I'm, I'm, it's going to take forever to go through everybody else. So, so I think I'm going to just stop there. But please don't be insulted if I haven't introduced you. But I know you all want to eat, and I want to eat too. So, <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for indulging me tonight. Thank you. All righty then. I want to give a very brief toast. A toast to the road ahead. I've packed up nothing special for this trip around the sun. No time to make any special plans. What's done is what is done. Some 80 times I've made this trip, I've seen it all before. This may not be the final trip, but there can't be many more <laughs> to the road ahead. Lachaim, <laughs> Nazdrovia, Prozid, Salute. Cheers to the road ahead. Maybe we could close that back door. That might reduce the thump to dump a bit, I hope. Um, I hadn't counted on having to compete with um, whatever that is downstairs. Uh, um, <clears throat> But anyway, just a, a quick announcement uh, before I bite the bullet here. Um, you may or may not have heard, it was late breaking news, that uh, the Ark Encounter in Kentucky is suing its uh, insurance company for a million or so dollars. Uh, they want to uh, claim flood damages. <laughs> That's real. Um, Apparently, with all that rain they had, uh, Noah wasn't quite ready. Uh, he didn't realize that he had to worry about more than the, the, uh, the, the boat. Uh, it seems there was a mudslide on the access road going up to Ark Encounter, and so you can't get in to see the Ark, uh, to, to see the steel struts and things like that, uh, which we didn't know Noah had, but, but, uh, but anyway. Um, I also got a call just a few minutes ago from my, my friend Paul Guz in Hungary. So while we were here, I had a call from Hungary. And this morning, I had a call from Hollywood from my old partner in crime, Michael DiGaetano, of whom I will read a little bit, actually, today. He said, Frank, you aren't really going to read your whole confessions. And he went into all of these artistic arguments, uh, Aristotle's poetics and so on, as to why this shouldn't be done. And I told him, I said, well, everybody knows that in lieu of presence, their willingness to listen to my story is the biggest present that I will ever have in my life. And that is truthfully the case. The program is long. All 80 years of my life are involved in it in what you're going to hear tonight. Unfortunately, my life does not divide itself evenly into two parts. Um, the first part where I first could take a break so that you could uh, refill your drinks and, and do whatever uh, takes about 55 minutes before I can get to that point. And then there's about another 35 minutes that I need. So I thank you ahead of time for your willingness to listen to this, but this is the most important thing I've ever done, uh, to be able to give my confessions not to a priest, but <laughs> to a hundred free-thinking, clear-thinking, dear friends, and you all are my friends. Some of you I've known for 36 years or more, others I've known only recently, but I cherish you all and I hope I won't disappoint in what I'm going to read. And I sincerely hope 
you all will still be my friends afterwards.